Neutrons and protons are made up of these things called quarks. A proton is a particular configuration of three quarks, and a neutron is another one. Quarks do different things depending on how they're paired up with each other. So uh, by themselves, they just sort of whiz around. When they meet other quarks, uh, they start to sort of do a dance, if you like. They orbit each other in a particular way. And the cool thing about quarks is that they respond to the strongest force there exists in, in nature, the strong nuclear force. And what they do is they keep sort of firing these other particles called gluons in between them. They exchange gluons with each other and, and it's a very, very energetic exchange process. And, and they just become really, really tightly bound together. As quarks exist in protons and neutrons, they're just sort of whizzing around in this configuration with this three of them in a stable configuration bound together by glue. Physics itself is a very complicated and, and you know, hard to put into words subject because it's primarily expressed through mathematics. But the oddest thing about nature, at least at the level of fundamental physics, is the more we try to understand it, the deeper and deeper we get, the more and more beautiful it starts to look to us. You know, nature really likes simplicity. There's some people think that ultimately nature is fundamentally described by tiny vibrating strings and that all the different particles are different notes in the string. The, the deeper and deeper we get, the more and more aesthetically pleasing it becomes in some sense after the fact that, I mean, it's very messy when we're trying to figure it out and we get it wrong all the time. But once you understand what it actually happens, you find that it's, there's something very beautiful about it. The, the sort of journey of discovery in physics has been also a journey of finding you know, the deeper, more, if you like, elegant truths of the universe.